registered tsunami. Tsunami is arriving in wider areas along the coastline of Tohoku, Ibaraki, Chiba, and Izu Island chain. Tsunami warning and advisory have been issued in these areas, and tsunami registered in these areas will remain coming. Therefore, please stay alert. And in some areas, sea level is still rising in some areas, even though we no longer see any red arrows anymore. What does that mean? The sea level kept rising up until very last moment, which may mean that repeated waves can come in further, causing the sea level rise. So even though we do not see any red arrows anymore, please do not relax. But stay alert. Was an earthquake of magnitude 7.4? What kind of earthquake was it? According to the press conference at Japan Meteorological Agency, Great East Japan earthquake has triggered active seismic activities along the Tohoku coastline. And I think that today's earthquake belonged to that group of earthquake. And this one morning's earthquake was rather large in scale with a magnitude of 7.4, causing tsunami of higher than one meter in Sendai. And with a larger magnitude, the duration of tsunami warning can be longer than usual, so please stay alert. As was covered in the press coverage, there has been a rupture zones that has caused a vertical rupture as shown on this slide. That also means that the fault line could move up and down rather than horizontally. In this kind of earthquake, vertical jolt can cause larger tsunamis because that can bring the seawater up and down. As mentioned already, because it was a major earthquake, it is expected that tsunami waves remain. And sometimes different tsunami waves can be merged, creating an even higher wave. So at ports and coastlines, please stay alert. Lia style coastline can possibly have a tsunami of even higher waves. So please be guarded against those possibilities. And Tohoku also has not fully recovered from the earthquake in 2011. There has been some subsidence of the land level, and there has been some breaches of breakwaters, which can possibly be subject prone to higher tsunamis, so never get closer to those areas. And full tide will be only several dozens of minutes away, so please stay alert as well. That was Nakamura, a reporter of the social news section. That uh, the live report of the nuclear power plants and the reactors. And this is Fukushima number two, the nuclear plant, reactor three, that temporarily the, the pump of the cooling of the spent fuel was temporarily stopped. However, that did resume the operation after about 90 minutes. According to the TEPCO, that uh, the jolting of the water, of the cooling water, uh, will cause uh, the alarm bells and the pump stopped. And that is uh, their assumed well, reason for the stoppage. And this is shortly after 8 a.m. And at uh, 6 uh, 10, at the Fukushima number 2, the nuclear plant, that the reactor 3, the cooling water pump, that the uh, water level 
uh, alarm sent out to uh, notifying or the uh, reducing your level of the cooling water, and the pump stopped automatically. And the TEPCO confirmed the tank, and uh, there is no abnormality of the leakage of uh, the cooling water. And after one hour and uh, 40 minutes, and they started restarted the pump and started the cooling operation again. And the uh, reactor uh, three that the cooling spent fuel water is stopped and that the stoppage was uh, uh, 6 10. however that the, we resumed at the 747 because of the jolt of the earthquake that the cooling water uh, 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 fluctuated and the pump stopped however that the, well thanks to our inspection that the, we decided it is safe enough to resume that uh, pump operation and there is no uh, no abnormal abnormalities the temperature of the water is uh, the 29.5, which is the uh, rise of the 1 degree Celsius. However, that is no abnormal. You've been listening to our domestic services with simultaneous interpretation. As we've been hearing, tsunami has been observed in a wide area. A series of them are reaching the coasts of northeastern and eastern Japan after a magnitude 7.4 earthquake struck off Fukushima Prefecture Tuesday morning. Japan's meteorological agency has so far observed waves up to 140 centimeters. The tsunami warning for coastal areas of Fukushima and Miyagi prefectures are in effect. The agency says there's a possibility a wave could reach as high as three meters. You're now looking at video of Sendai in Miyagi prefecture during the quake. As you can see, our cameras are moving quite violently there. Video of Sendai, Miyagi prefecture during the quake. Japan's prime minister has given a statement from Argentina. I have ordered government officials to provide the public with up-to-date and accurate information concerning tsunami evacuation. Now, the meteorological agency also issued a tsunami advisory for prefectures in northeastern and eastern Japan. Anyone in those areas should listen to local authorities and disaster management officials for information and instructions. JMA is calling on people in the area where the tsunami warning is issued to leave coastal areas or riversides immediately. The agency is telling them to evacuate to a safer place, such as higher ground or an evacuation building. Remember, tsunami will hit repeatedly. Do not leave evacuation areas until the warning is cleared. We're now looking at live video of Ishinomaki in Miyagi Prefecture. Live video of Ishinomaki in Miyagi Prefecture. We can see cars on the bridge. However, a tsunami warning has been issued for Miyagi Prefecture. Do evacuate to higher ground and listen to your local authorities. An official with the meteorological agency is calling on people in the affected areas to stay on the alert for another possible quake. There's possibility that a quake with the same strength could occur in a week or so. If a quake occurs off the coast again, it could also trigger tsunami. We have the latest information on the tsunami levels from Japan's meteorological agency. Officials say a 1 meter and 40 centimeter tsunami hit the Sendai port in Miyagi prefecture shortly after 8 a.m. Japan time. They also say a 90 centimeter tsunami struck Fukushima prefecture's Soma port shortly after 7 a.m. Japan time. An 80 centimeter tsunami was observed at Miyagi Prefecture's Ishinomaki Ayukawa and at Iwate Prefecture's Kuji Port before 8 a.m. Japan time. And a 60 centimeter tsunami hit the Onohama Port in Fukushima Prefecture shortly before 6 a.m. Japan time. These are the tsunami heights that have been observed in Japan so far. The agency is warning that higher tsunami may have reached or will possibly reach Jap Japanese coastal areas. Officials are urging residents on the coast to evacuate as soon as possible. 
The Nuclear Regulation Authority says a cooling system for a spent nuclear fuel pool at the Fukushima Daini plant has resumed operation after briefly halting before or rather following the quake. Officials say there are no reports of abnormalities in other reactors at the plant. The reactor says there are also no reports of irregularities at other nuclear plants or facilities in the area as of 7.55 a.m. And they say there are no changes to the radiation levels at monitoring posts around those facilities. Let's go back to our domestic services. We'll be listening in um, with simultaneous interpretation. And more than the 10 vessels, repeated waves of tsunami can be expected. Please remain evacuated. This is live footage of Iwaki Port, Fukushima Prefecture. Fukushima and Miyagi prefectures have tsunami warnings issued. Miyagi and Fukushima coastline is now under the tsunami warning. Please evacuate and get as far away as possible from the coastline at this moment. Those of you who are already on the higher land, please remain there until the warning is lifted. At around 5.59, an earthquake occurred, which resulted in the tsunami warning not only in Fukushima but also in Miyagi Prefecture. Expected height of tsunami is as high as 3 meter meters at most. Tsunami warning advisory is also issued for Aomori, Ibaraki, Iwate, and Kuju Kuri Beach of Chiba and Sotobo and Uchiba of Chiba as well. The tsunami of up to one meter can arrive in those areas. At 8.03, a tsunami of 1 meter 40 centimeters have been registered at Sendai Port. And the red arrow suggests that the sea level is still rising in those areas of Sendai, Kuji, and Ohunato ports. Soma Port has had a tsunami of 19 centimeters and Ishinomaki of 80 centimeters and Onahama at 60 centimeters. In some areas, higher tsunami could arrive, get away from the coastline and evacuate to higher land. Those of you who are already evacuating, please remain there until the tsunami warning is lifted. An earthquake of 5 minus was registered in Hukagawa, Sukagawa, Fukushima, Naraha, Futaba, and Namie towns in 14 municipalities, and Takahagi in Ibaraki and Otawara in Tochigi have had strong earthquakes as well. The focus of the Earthquake was off the coast of Fukushima, which was 20 kilometers deep. The size of the earthquake is estimated at 7.4. Tsunami has been registered in many locations. Miyagi and Fukushima has tsunami warnings. Please remain evacuated. Fukushima, Oarai, and other areas will have a live coverage. Reporting from Iwaki City, Hisahama Town, Fukushima Prefecture, reporting from 30 meters inward. Tsunami is warning has been issued for this area, even though we cannot see any major changes, visible changes. However, sirens are still running encouraging people to evacuate. At this location, approximately 100 people have evacuated. And at 6.49, a tsunami of 60 centimeters has been registered in Onohama Port. At, at 10.34, Onohama Port will have a full tide, so never get closer to the coastline. At local schools and at city halls, approximately 150 people have evacuated. There are about 200 cars that have evacuated to higher lands. Hisanoma Machi, Mr. Sakamoto, is with us this morning. What is the evacuation status as we report? The earthquake was very strong this time, so everyone evacuated as soon as possible.
Fortunately, within the first 15 minutes, all the local community members have been successfully evacuated. 54 people in my district have successfully evacuated. How did you encourage people to evacuate? Learning from the experience, of 311-2011, we have divided the district into three smaller groups with leaders in the local communities, and the leaders each visited all households, telling people to evacuate, and the three leaders have reported us that no major damage has been reported. Hisanomachi of Iwaki City, Fukushima Prefecture. I'm reporting live from the Ishinomaki city of Miyagi Prefecture. The, the tsunami alert is issued to this place that I'm reporting from the slope, which I can have the command of the view. And um, uh, shortly after that, uh, the 739, that 80 centimeters of that the tsunami was reported in Sendai port at uh, 8. 33, that one a meter and 40 centimeters of tsunami was observed and it is uh, in the process of rising uh, during the city that there have been that the wire message of encouraging people to evacuate in the sea that you can see that the 10 boats are taking refuge to the, the outer seas. Uh, they experienced that the five years ago that the tsunami and also that this is a place of the evacuation more than the dozens of the people are taking refuge in this place. One of the uh, the man says that uh, he felt the jolt in his uh, way to the, the officers and uh, he, is, uh, he is very scared but the, the memory of five years ago the great earthquake and the tsunami came to light to him. And this is uh, all Arai, the, the middle school that on the slope of Miyagi, that in Ibaragi, and uh, the 15 centimeters of that uh, uh, the tsunami was reported as 708. That we don't see too much of the changes of the sea level. However, that we do hear that the alarms of the, the emergency in cars, and some people come to the, the coast to see the conditions. Please do not do this, it's too dangerous. In the elementary school and uh, students, Students and middle school students are encouraged to stay home and they are giving the priority to vacation of the people who are living close to that uh, the coast. And uh, the high tide, the maximum tide of the day is 1032. Many of the boats are evacuating to that uh, outer seas and also the coastal guard is trying to protect the people as well as the boats. And many people have already evacuated, and uh, well, those people that who have already evacuated, please uh, stay, uh, please do not return to your homes until the alert is lifted. And uh, please look at uh, the report of the meteorological agency. When the alert is issued, uh, there may be the damage of the tsunami, and those people that who are living in the coast area and the river area, that uh, please evacuate immediately to the higher places or the high-rise buildings is immediately. And the tsunami comes in the, uh, several waves, and therefore uh, please do not leave the safe, uh, safety areas until the, the warning is lifted. When the alert is issued, uh, that uh, please uh, uh, that the inside of the seas or the coastal areas are extremely dangerous and uh, please leave these areas immediately and uh, well, keep your distance as, far, as much as possible from the distance and uh, the, uh, the current, the ocean current is very fast and uh, please do not uh, go near to the sea or that the coastal areas and please uh, well stay alert for the next several days at least. So that was the press report of the meteorological agency that uh, we asked ask uh, uh, Akawara-san uh, in the studio. The tsunami of higher than one meters have been registered in some areas. And 50 or 60 meter high tsunami have been registered elsewhere as well. As repeatedly mentioned, tsunami is the attack by bulk of water which in here means that tsunami of one meter or higher has so much energy in it. Also, tsunami of lower than that can also wash away people around the coastline, so please stay alert. The focus was off the coast of Fukushima. That is why JMA initially issued a warning for Fukushima Prefecture. However, tsunami of 140 meters have been registered in Miyagi Prefecture as well. 
And that is why tsunami warning was issued to Miyagi prefectures as well. Therefore, please never go see the coastline at this moment, and please stay evacuated. Additionally, past 9 p.m., Katsura, Chiba, and Kashima port in Ibarogi, Ibaragi have had tsunami of 30, meters high, 30 centimeters high. Katsuhura, 30 centimeters high. 906, Kashima port has had a tsunami of 30 centimeters. NF858, Kamaishi Iwate, had a tsunami of 20 centimeters. At around 9 p a.m., new tsunami waves are coming in to different ports.